Hello there everybody and welcome back to a brand new album review. Today we are going through Kate Tempest's new album. Kate Tempest is of course the London based spoken word and hip hop artist whose work usually focuses on largely socially conscious issues and her approach to poetry in many ways feels like an extension of other acts before her such as Linton Kwesi Johnson. This is her fourth album, entitled The Book of Traps and Lessons, and again it places itself in an urban, working-class consciousness. This is her first album that I feel really starts to distance itself from the previous hip-hop influences found on her work, embracing instead a much more sparse, minimalistic atmosphere that enables full focus to be on the words and lyricism on display. The presentation of these poetical pieces is often very passionate and at times ends up getting into personal issues such as relationships, sexuality and introspectiveness. Alongside this, tracks can weave in and out of one another without pause and it can be hard without looking to see where one track ends and the next one starts. At times, the album can leave you a bit unsatisfied by not pushing it any further than her previous release, Let Them Eat Chaos, but does at times still manage to be a hard-hitting release to some degree, albeit a lesser one. The wording on this album is in simple layman's terms, which is of course a stylistic choice to reach a wider audience with the poetry, which is all well and good, but this can also create a barrier as to how far the phrasing can go. That's not to say that there aren't some clever lines on this thing, but after a while, the presence of a lack of lyrical variety becomes evident and can leave the whole thing feeling one-sided. Also, it presents its political issues as one noted and simplistic, which is of course a valid stance to have, but does not always make for an interesting stance when the approach feels as if it is merely listing personal opinions. If you're going to delve into this political stuff, such as racism, that has been done to death over the years, you need to find a fresh, intriguing approach, which I really don't think Tempest managed to fully capture. It ends up just feeling a little too preachy for my tastes. The album is at its best when it gets into the personal and leaves a political as a painted background that frames the self-driven pieces. Now luckily the album mainly comprises of this approach and ends up creating some of the best tracks on the album such as Keep Moving Don't Move. As for a score, I'm going to give this one a 6.7 out of 10. It didn't quite manage to capture what was on Let Them Eat Chaos, but I'd like to hear your opinions down below. So if you've heard this, let me know your opinions in the comments, along with any suggestions for any future reviews. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye now.